Why did women in the 60s have pointy boobs? Women in the 60s had pointy bras. It was the style of bra at the time. Playtex. Pointy bras. Not pointy boobs. I can't find much about why pointy bras were cool, but if you want to look into it try googling. Bullet bra. This has some info https en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash history of bras. It sounds like after the war there were more materials available for making bras and designers. Started experimenting with shapes and that shape became popular woman shrugging medium light skin tone probably more to it than that. Though. From a sewing perspective. Forming a bowl, cup shape that doesn't have a visible point or ridge requires either a ton of pieces connected by a ton of seams. Look at the number of panels that can be in a nice smooth curvy corset or a fabric that can be stretched and molded into shape and stay that way. So partly a tech, cost and complexity issue. But there are other sewable shapes that could have ended up trendy. Edit. Think about the different types of map projections that try to imitate a globe. And how there's always some kind of distorted puckering. Torpedo tits. My grandpa called them. Women still have pointy boobs. Lower polygon counts back in the 60s. I feel like more people should try to answer why the bras looked like that. Did they not know how else to do it? Bras have not been around forever. Was it a material thing? I personally love the pointy bra look when the outfit is right, so cute and vintage. Bullet bras. I remember my big sister wearing them. I was too young at the time. HTTPS dustyoldthing.com slash bullet dash bra dash history slash Graphics were worse back then. The graphics cards were not that advanced. Ever notice how naked women from the 40s to 60s have this perpetual sucked in gut look? It's formed by the style of belting jeans around their belly button line. Well yes for the pointy bra, but some women still didn't wear any and some women have pointier boobs. Two. That was when traffic cones were first invented. And it caused a widespread fetish. Even today construction zones have reduced speed limits solely for the purpose of allowing perverts. More time to look at their cones. The graphics weren't as good back then. A Tomb Raider, Austin Powers crossover would be groovy, baby. Well. That was the era where Nora Ephron said, you could lay an uninhabited bathing suit down on the beach and sooner or later someone would make a pass at it. Because fashion doesn't make sense most of the time. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.